What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, while we wait for Liam to sell his body parts to pay for the 280, we're gonna take the RX-7 out uh, for a little rip, it's nice. And we're also gonna test out uh, Adaptronic's new adaptive fueling, which essentially tunes the fuel table itself. Now, I wouldn't just go out, you know, do a wide open throttle pull straight away and expect the ECU to tune itself. But, you know, in the cruise areas, which when you do get a car mapped, you know, a lot of tuners, they'll do a lot of uh, power runs or pulls and then tune the pulls and not spend necessarily as much time on the cruise areas. So adaptive tuning is definitely good for them cruise areas where, you know, you're going to be spending a lot of your time. So yeah, we're going to take the accent out today, uh, take for a rip and I'll show you some of the software, the, uh, the adaptronic ones. Here's Eugene that the Adeptron uses. Um, this is my current fuel map. So look at the graph. So I've not done too much with this yet. That's why it's still quite flat and smoothed out. No doubt when we start doing a bit today, it'll get a bit spiky. But to get to this, you go tuning fuel at the top, and you go over to this closed loop fuel setting. And then in this mode, there's four drop downs if you can see that. So you've got open loop, closed loop. Closed loop is just where it looks at the feedback from the AFR gauge and adapts your fuel in dependent on your target AFR table. But it won't adjust the fuel map itself. Adaptive, so it's two choices. It's stopped once tuned and then keep changing once tuned. So basically the ECU, once it's happy with it, it will change the table, the number in the table will go purple and then basically it won't change anything in that table again or in that cell, sorry. Uh, it says here beta, because I'm guessing it's not fully happy with the software. Probably in case someone just goes out and blows the engine up straight away. But we're going to put it in stopped once tuned, so then once we've done a drive in it, we can have a look and see which uh, cells the ECU has changed and marked as tuned. So, let's go. So we're also trialling out the Amazon DB power which is like a cheap version of the GoPro so if this ends up being that you can't hear anything then I'll just put some music over it and we'll just go for a drive. So, we've been for a little drive. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'll save that map, I'll load on a map that I've done a bit more work to, uh, and we'll let the waste gate open a little bit, see if we can catch up. Taking a look at the fuel map now, it's got, if you can see it on this camera, it's 
there's quite a lot of this cruise area filled in in purple which means the ECU has tuned that area and then marked it as tuned so it won't touch it again so I noticed when I was driving the AFRs were quite steady you can see them coming down uh, the fuel trim which is this one here was within you know one or two percent which is acceptable if we look at the graph now the graph looks pretty bumpy obviously what that probably is is the fact that you're not doing it on the dyno uh, the car doesn't go in every cell and obviously then the, car, the ECU is tuning different cells and it puts bumps and troughs in what you then have to do if you did it on a dyno you better stay in that cell a bit steadier uh, but if you're doing it on a road you probably just then come back to this smooth it out and then keep doing that process again until your map looks a bit smoother but that's not horrendous I'm happy with that so that's going to be for this one just a quick one to keep the videos coming um, this weekend we should be back to normal schedule because it's been a bit quiet this week because I've got the kids. Kids are off school so I'm looking after them. Um, we're going to be back on the 280 and we're just basically going to be piecing it together so that Liam can use it for a little bit as plans have changed and we're going to be doing some big work on it. So yeah, we'll see you at the weekend on the next video. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you next time.